The new dangerous health crisis plaguing over 25% of the U.S. population. It rivals smoking and obesity and kills thousands in the blink of an eye. Sleep deprivation. It can devastate your body, compromise your mind and immune system, and even lead to diabetes, depression, and even death. Not awake, but not asleep. Are you in the dark about this new crisis that's gripping the nation? And joining us now is our good friend, Editor-in-Chief of Reader's Digest Magazine, Liz Vaccarello. Welcome back, Liz. I think what's interesting when you start talking about this sleep crisis in our country, it's a huge, huge problem. I know you're profiling. It is. It is. Um, the stats are crystal clear, and it's, it's very disturbing. The CDC in 2011 declared sleep defri deprivation um, a public health crisis. And this is the kind of language that they, that they used decades ago when they talked about smoking, and it took the Surgeon General's warning and years of public awareness to bring that to the forefront. Um, so sleep deprivation is, is very, very real. And I think the biggest context in which we can all relate to it is transportation. A quarter of all um, accidents, whether it be train, plane, bus, or car, um, are caused by somebody being tired behind the wheel. There's 1,550 uh, deaths a year based on uh, people being asleep at the wheel and 40,000 you know, non-fatal accidents. That may be obvious to people. And they'll yeah. be like, oh, okay, sleepiness is more likely to have an accident. But I, where I think people are really in the dark, no pun intended, is all the other problems that I know you highlight um, in the article about how sleep or lack thereof also leads to so many other health issues mm -hmm. that you would never put together. Yeah. And, and the studies bear that out. Yeah, right? we, we call it, they, it can make you sick, fat, and stupid. Um, so sick, uh, if you get, don't get enough sleep, you have higher risks of depression and diabetes and hypertension and even early death. Fat, um, when we don't get enough sleep, there are changes in our brain chemistry, our hormones and our metabolism that affect our satiety, uh, that affect the way we metabolize calories. Um, and one study showed clearly in, in the University of Colorado that people who get less, two hours less sleep a night than they should, um, gain more weight. And then finally, stupid. Um, you know, we all know that we feel a little fuzzy headed when we don't get enough sleep, but the, there are very specific studies that show that you, your memory, your concentration, your reaction time, we're talking about transportation, um, your judgment and your decision making are all affected. And, and you know, it doesn't really, when you, when you think about the workplace, if somebody's like giving you your, your latte in the morning, you don't care if he or she is yawning. But if, if somebody who hasn't gotten enough sleep is driving your child to school in a bus or is reading your biopsy, um, you want that person to be as alert and high functioning as possible. What I like about the information you guys provide in this article is that getting enough sleep is something you can change and feel the next day. Yeah. Whereas eating right, you know, you may not feel that yes. for a couple weeks. What I love about it is it really helps you understand that if I do this tonight, you know that's what, tomorrow's right. gonna be a better day. Oh, I love that you said that because yeah. that's absolutely right. And so we have to do things like create this a sleep environment that is quiet and turn our, our devices off, but we also have to look at laws that affect how long truck drivers are allowed to be on, yes. the, on the road. And even um, companies like uh, Johnson & Johnson re recently j told all their employees they weren't allowed to email after mm, a certain time of day and on the weekends. And so if your employer and if, if the communities are supporting sleep as a health priority, uh, we're all going to be better off.